and uh, welcome to the first installment of uh, installing live migration on a dime. So the purpose of this series of uh, short webcasts uh, is going to be to show you how to configure live migration with uh, 2008 uh, R2 server. So the first step that we're going to take is to set up the uh, storage target for our failover cluster. Now, I'm not going to go into much detail uh, in terms of how to set up an iSCSI target on Windows. I'm just going to explain what you see here, which is a series of targets that I have already set up. One is called my cluster share volume. It's now idle, as in no nodes is connected. Then I have uh, two targets uh, for quick migration to demonstrate the difference. They are different volumes each volume associated to uh, a new target, Quick MIG 1 and Quick MIG 2. And last but not least, there is a small target for my quorum disk. If you look at the devices, they are, uh, they are uh, named accordingly. The quorum disk is just a gigabyte, cluster share volume is about 50, and the other two are about 20. Um, note that uh, uh, for simplicity's sake, I have selected uh, a uh, VHD per SCSI target. It's not necessary. You can expose more than one VHD, more than one device through a SCSI target. Um, that will work by associating different LUNs to uh, the target device. Um, but again, for simplicity, we're associating one device with one LUN and one target. Now, you're not forced to use uh, Microsoft iSCSI target software or Windows Storage Server. You can use um, any uh, fiber-based uh, storage area network, uh, iSCSI uh, target device or uh, serial attached SCSI that is uh, uh, certified to work with 2008. Um, what you need though is to make sure that uh, you have uh, a persistent reservation uh, uh, command support which is uh, SCSI 3 standard and uh, that you have the appropriate uh, virtual disk service providers, a virtual snapshot service provider, and any hardware drivers that uh, you may need for multi-padding installed on your uh, machines beforehand. If you want more details about how to set up uh, targets on a nice SCSI um, device on Microsoft storage server, please refer to um, the series of webcasts that I had done on HPC server failover, uh, which the first two show you how to set up a nice SCSI target and the standard 2008 failover cluster. So that concludes our introduction to um, live migration on a dime. Thank you.